that sign is absolutely right. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas as Major League Baseball has made the trek to the Nevada desert for its annual winter meetings. And we're bringing it to you here on Yankees Hot Stove on Yes, where we expect that after four epic days of coverage, we will all be immortalized with garish statues. And Meredith will no doubt be bedazzled. Great to have you with us here, Yankees Hot Stove on Yes. Bob Lorenz, Jack Curry, John Flaherty, Meredith Morakovitz, and Michael Kay with you. Four days of coverage as we sat here, well not here, it was somewhere else. <laughs> a year ago, the Yankees made a huge opening day splash. They brought in Giancarlo Stanton. We talked to him on set. Jack, a little quieter day one today. So far, quiet. Everyone is waiting for that splash. Everyone is waiting for a Machado or a Harper to sign. Bob, I think we're going to wait a while for one of those two marquee free agents to sign. In fact, when Brian Cashman, the Yankees general manager, met with Yankee reporters a couple of hours ago, one of the things he said was, I'm surprised you guys keep asking me about Harper. And then he listed what their needs are. Two starting pitchers. Well, it's one now because they added Paxton. Two relievers and a middle infielder to fill in while Didi Gregorius is out. We're waiting for any of those moves, but in talking to one prominent agent, he said he thought that these meetings were going to move slowly. You know, I'm glad you brought up the starting pitching and Brian Cashman referencing that because on our last hot stove show, we were talking J Hap seemed like a no brainer. This thing should happen pretty quickly. We're starting to hear rumors that maybe the Phillies are being really aggressive for J Hap. So, what does Brian Cashman do now? Does he overspend? He didn't do that for Corbin. Does he pivot? maybe and try to make a trade it'll be fun to see what he's going to try to do with the pitching and I think when you look at Jay Happy obviously once three years the Yankees maybe not necessarily comfortable going there with him but you do wonder if they don't get Hap what else is available unless they try to make a trade which Brian Cashman is certainly diligently talking to general managers throughout the course of this meetings but looking at the pitching starting pitching yes but they have some relievers that are going to be off this team and David Robertson Zach Britton they have holes there that they really need to fill I would say Michael if they don't leave with some type of pitching it's going to be a little bit yeah. of a disappointment it's going to be interesting if anybody leaves with anything because I believe that Harper and Machado are going to gum everything up everything will loosen up when those guys sign but you've got two agents going up against each other they want the highest paid player they're going to wait and wait and wait I don't think it's going to be done in these next four days so does anything else get done I'm not quite sure as for the Yankees with half App, you know, they wouldn't go to that extra year with Corbin. They wouldn't go to four years with Avaldi. I've heard the same thing as you. They're stuck at two years on Hap. They don't want to go to three. And I'll paraphrase what Andrew Friedman of the Dodgers said. If you're going to be responsible, reasonable, and rational in free agency, you're always going to finish third. And if the Yankees really are going to draw a line in the sand and not go up more than they want they might not get the guy they want and they might have to trade some of their farm system for a guy like Kluber all right so a lot to keep an eye on over the next four days we're gonna take a quick break because we have a jam-packed show when we come back here on hot stove here on yes we're gonna hear from former Yankee manager and now chief baseball officer in the major leagues Joe Torre right after this